So hello, so happy Halloween 2017. So this is my going to be my latest post. There's going to be probably three parts to it. What I want to start with is a shout out to Johnny's Ghosts. Um, what I'm showing you since I don't have actually the his, this is it's called Johnny's Ghost, and that's his website address right there. Um, I'm showing you this video because I am taking his design here which we see right in front and I'm going to kind of supersize it and uh, the thing about his is he, I think he has to be an engineer because the way he designs his stuff is pretty phenomenal I'm um, not quite that good but I want to show you how, what I did to actually make the difference here and then so I'm going to stop the video for a second and then I'm going to go to the um, uh, motion one that he's got on here, the video. Okay, so here's what his looks like when it's moving. This is his Lear Ghost, it's called. And um, again, you can see it's all out of dowels and wood, and um, he uses a 6 RPM motor. The thing I would suggest is go to his website and again look at these ghosts that he makes because they're unbelievable how good they are. But if you look at the size of the ghost on his website and stuff, I think it's probably about six feet across, maybe seven at the most. And so I want to show you what I did. I kind of recreated it at about double the size. And he does things like he shows you how he wraps it with um, cardboard and stuff. And I do mine a little bit different. But the big thing is I want to show you how I supersized mine. So I'm going to go stop again and then go show you what mine looks like. Okay, so here we are outside looking at my version of this. Um, I can't even actually get this in a single frame because mine measures out to about 13 and a half feet and I actually cut it down. So the point about this is you could make this, geez, you could probably make it 16, 17 feet wide if you wanted to. So here's the differences. Again, you're gonna see that, especially looking at his video because that's what I did is I actually just took um, a picture of his and then just kind of copied a little bit different. Instead of using the solid um, connectors and stuff, I used just half inch PVC pipe. And as you're gonna see, there's my, I used a wiper motor again. Same thing, a Monster Guts, I set up a little cam. But it's the same exact idea that he has. And um, that's where the head's gonna be. I want, like I said, I'm gonna do this in sections because um, just to be able to see how it all comes together. So this is exactly like his, and the arms are the same. The cool thing I learned about this, which I've been doing this for a few years now, which I'm surprised I never figured out how to do this, because making something this big is everybody that knows who makes things like this is how do you store it? Well, I finally just found out, if I get close here, so all these, th these pipes are connected. So what I did is I took three quarter inch pipe which is this Schedule 40. But then I took one inch pipe, which is this thinner pipe. This, and this actually slips right over the three quarter inch Schedule 40 pipe. And then what I did was I just put in some bolts and stuff. So these are actually all gonna come off. These are actually gonna all slip off and I can pull those off. So then I end up with just little stubs, like this is where the head is. And so then the whole thing itself is only about four feet wide, which is really cool. So I'll be able to store that. I'll make the arms separately and the head separately. And uh, again, instead of having to have something that's 16 feet wide or whatever, um, you know, I'll be able to store something that's four feet and then I'll be able to keep the arms and stuff separately. I'll turn it on like I always use. I got these things, I get them on eBay, but they sell these regulators, speed controllers. So I'll turn it on so you can see what mine does. And there it is. So this is it moving. Same thing, just like his. The double bar extensions. Head's gonna go up again, this is facing up. It's actually upside down, which again, if you watch his videos, you'll see it's the same thing. But again, it's a great design of his, and I think this is gonna work just great. I'm gonna continue working on it, and I will um, post probably at least one or two, two more videos to show you what how I'm gonna complete mine and just the differences of how I'm gonna do mine versus his. But again, 
Uh, shout out to Johnny's Ghost because the guy is just a genius and check out some of his videos because it's amazing. So that's it for now.